Hello, in this video, you're going to learn important functions which are called VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Now, they're a very important question. What they do is they will extract information from a table into the table you need using formulas. So, let's see how to do it. The first question is in this column, extract the unit price which depends on the quantity. So for example, if somebody bought 240 quantity of tennis balls, they should be charged 180 per ball. Now how do you do this? You have to start with equals VLOOKUP. Now what does the V stand here for it is vertical. So if your table is vertically placed, you will have to use VLOOKUP. If it is horizontally placed, you will have to use HLOOKUP. So V stands for vertical and H stands for horizontal. Now VLOOKUP has four things inside it. The first one is you click in your own table the quantity, then comma, the second thing is you select your entire table from which you want to extract information. Now since this is far away, you will have to fix it. So press F4. Now what do you want to extract from this table? You want to extract the unit price, which is the second column. So you say 1, 2. So the third thing you put is the column number because we want to extract the price. This is column number two from your other table and then comma false if there is an exact match and truth if there is an approximate match. So what you do is you look at the values in your calculation table and check does each of the value match here they clearly don't so in that case you will have to use the approximate match so click on true and close the bracket so for 240 it will look for 230 and below for 30 it will look for between 0 and 50 and so on so press enter you should get 180 there 180. So for 30, what should you get? You should get is between 0 and 50, so it will look for the above value. So 210 is what it will look for. Similarly, for 160, it will look for in between these two and it will give you 195. So let's check if it works. Just like that. So it's pretty amazing, very important function we look up and scroll down. Okay, these, so for total price, you will have to use a particular formula. It's the quantity multiplied with that, but you can do that. For unit shipping again, VLOOKUP, which you can practice later. So the unit shipping is this, and it depends on the shipping method. So let's just do this quickly. So equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is the method. So first you click on this one in your table, comma, second select the entire table, fix it. Again, you want to extract column number two. Now, true or false here, do you have an exact match for all of them in here? The answer is yes, so you'll have to use false. If there's an exact match, you will have to use false. Close the bracket, enter. So you see for post, it is 0.15 and scroll down. 
let's just do the total price here so the total price is the quantity multiplied with the unit price scroll it down what should be the total shipping if it's 0.15 per ball total shipping is the quantity multiplied with unit shipping so it should be this multiplied with that drag it down now shipping discount percentage for that you will have to use this table now this is horizontally placed so you will have to use H lookup so you have to do equals H lookup now what does the shipping discount depend on it depends on the total price this is a discount percentage but it depends on the total price so in your own table first click on the total price then comma select the entire table here we're doing H lookup because the table is horizontally placed and fix it now this is similar to VLOOKUP so what row number do you want to extract this is the first row and this is the second row. You want to extract shipping discount, which is row number two. Now, true or false, do all of these values belong in here? Clearly not. So you will have to use approximate match, which is true. Now, 432, it will look for in between 300 and 1000. They should get a discount of 10%. Now remember, this is in percentage, so you'll have to go up here and make it to percentage. Very important, you cannot have a decimal where it says percentage. Now let's see for the next one. For 30, it should look between 0 and 300, so it should be 0%. Let's check one more for 160 between these two. So again, 0%. So sorry, it's looking for 312, not 160. 312 is between these two. It's 10%. And so on. So it, it depends on the total price. So you need to look at the total price. You just drag it down. So these are the very important two functions which is H lookup and V lookup. H stands for horizontal, V stands for vertical. Any questions you can type in below.